Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the featured chord lesson for the months of January through March 2018, our first new chord of the new year. For this lesson, I'm going to show you a chord shape that I just learned myself and in some earlier lessons I had shown incorrectly. So this is kind of the theme of this round of lessons is to correct mistakes that I've made in the past. And talking about a chord that Freddie King used to end his songs and in the examples that I showed you, for instance in the key of A, I did a, a lesson on the end tag for the song Sensation and I thought he ended the song on an A ninth, but actually he uses a different form. He uses this shape right here, which is really an A seventh, A seventh ninth, not even sure what it is, I think it's an A seventh form. And the way you do this, here's my first position A bar chord, and it's really the same shape as a B seventh. So if you make your B seventh shape, and then you just move everything over, and you keep the open third string, you've got the chord. So for me, in, in the key of A, I've got my first finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, my second finger is on the A, which is the fifth fret of the fifth string. Then my ring finger is on the fifth fret of the fourth string. And my pinky is on the fifth fret of the second string. And so when you hear Freddie King end a tune like Sensation, he does the end tag part, which I'm going to cover in a separate lesson on correcting the end tag mistakes I made. And he goes into this chord. And I'm just sliding it, keeping the same shape from one step above. Now the other place where he uses this chord is when he's playing in the key of C. And he has two instrumentals, the song called Butterscotch and then San Jose, or not, yeah, San Jose, where he ends it with the C version of that chord, which is the exact same shape, but I'm moving my second finger to the eighth fret. Like that. So our chord shape is again first finger, fifth fret, I'm sorry, fourth fret, fifth string, second fingers on the root, which we're playing in A, that's how you know which key you're playing it in, fifth fret of the sixth string, and then my ring finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, pinky, same on the second string, and the third string is open. And you can hear that ring out. Now while we're at it, I'm going to correct another chord shape, which is when Freddie King would end the tune in the key of E, he would, again, I thought he used a ninth chord. So he has a tune called, um, oh, which one is that? Is it out front where he ends like this? And I always thought, again, he was using a second position E ninth chord which is used so often in electric blues. But the more I listen to it, and with help from one of my subscribers, that's how I figured these chords out in the first place, I finally figured out that it's really a B7 shape. So what I'm doing now is taking that B7 form, and I'm keeping it on the same strings, and just moving my second finger to the 7th fret of the 5th string, which makes it an E7. So when he ends the tune like out front, he's actually sliding it in like that. And there's another one called Just Pickin' where he ends it and winds up on that chord as well. So this chord is a, is a B7 shape. You can move it to an E. Right here it would be a D7. This would be a G. But Freddie King, as far as I know, the only place I really hear him use that is on the E 7th. That's where I hear that. And of course, when he's playing a B 7th. So the new chord shape is this Freddie King type 7th, 9th chord, which he uses mostly that I know of in his end tags. And the next lesson here, part of this month's batch of lessons, I'm going to do one on those specific end tags and go through the whole things and include those chords the way they, they were played on the original recordings. Hope this lesson is helpful, and I apologize for not getting it right the first time, but that's one of the reasons I do this. 
I throw out things that I think I figured out and I think I know and then you know if people are going to correct me more power to you that's how I learn and I've learned a ton doing these videos and getting feedback from you guys okay those are our chords and I will see you again in a, in a couple months with another featured electric blues or acoustic blues chord <laughs>